हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एस यू ऑल नो ड्यू टू पैंडमिक कोविड नाइन्टीन वी ऑल आर स्ट्रक एट अ होम सो फ्रॉम नाउ ऑनवर्ड्स वी विल बी प्रोवाइडिंग यू ऑनलाइन क्लासेस सो दैट योर स्टडीज विल नॉट सफर क्लास सेवन दिस सेशन इज फॉर यू योर फर्स्ट चैप्टर इज कंप्यूटर फंडामेंटल्स दैट वी विल स्टडी टूडे कंप्यूटर सिस्टम इज मेड अप ऑफ टू मेन कंपोनेंट्स वन इज हार्डवेयर एंड अनदर इज सॉफ्टवेयर ऑल द फिजिकल डिवाइसेस सच एज कीबोर्ड माउस मॉनिटर दैट वी कैन टच एंड फील आर हार्डवेयर कंपोनेंट्स बट दीज हार्डवेयर कंपोनेंट अलोन कैन नॉट डू एनी थिंग these components have to be given instruction to perform any task so for this softwares are used softwares are basically set of programs and related data that are used to give instruction to the hardware software program are written using special language we cannot write software using english hindi french we need a special computer language to run so for this we will study computer languages computer languages are broadly classified into two major categories first is low level languages second is high level languages although we already know computer can understand only one language that is binary language no so why there is need of low level languages and high level languages let's study low level languages can be further divided into two categories machine language and assembly language machine language is the language in which instructions are given in the form of zero and one this is actually binary language where instructions are given in the form of zeros and one only but these machine level language programs are machine depending that means if i create any code on my system and i want to run that code on your system it is uh, very difficult so for uh, and there is a possibility it might run so machine language is machine dependent a complete knowledge of computer architecture is required to write a program in machine language so programmer find it little difficult to understand this machine language so they need a little upgradation see this 10100001 this is actually a machine language code and it is very difficult to understand so an another low level language which is better than machine language is assembly language here instructions are given in the form of abbreviated word called mnemonics such as short forms for example ld is for loading a program mov is for moving data add is for adding data instead of 0 and 1 mnemonics are used in assembly language it is easier to program in assembly language as compared to machine language but just like machine language it is also machine dependent so similar way if i write program in my system it is not uh, there is a possibility it will not run in on other system one more thing computer understand only one language that is binary language so for this and if we are writing a code in another language we need a translator and here the translator is known as assembler assembler is a translator which convert high le uh, machine level language to low le uh, to assembly level language and assembly level language to machine level language now we will study high level languages high level language are the programs in which is, uh, which is written using english like word such as mathematical symbol it is easier for programmer to learn high level language such as python java c or c c++ there are certain advantages of high level languages first advantage is understandability 
program written in these language are easier to be read and understood than those in other low level languages debugging we can find and remove error in program written using high level language it is very difficult to find errors in machine language and assembly language because it is difficult to understand that those language next is portability they are not machine dependent they are machine independent so if i create any program on my computer and i want to run the same program on your system that it is uh, it is doable in high level language so few examples of high level language basic fortran fortran that means formula translation pascal c c++ java python 2 they are high level languages and similarly computer understand only one language binary language so here we also need a translator for example here the language translators are compiler and interpreter compiler execute the whole program in one go and then reports error whereas interpreter execute the whole program line by line so these are few language translator now we will study binary number system which is based on the zeros and one here zeros and one only we will use zero and one we will study how binary number system works now we actually use decimal number system in our daily life the digits in when number have place value such as ones tens hundred thousand we actually express our numbers in the form of decimal number system for example 189 can be written as 100 plus 80 plus 9 whereas 100 can be written as 10 square and 80 8 into 10 and 9 we can write 9 plus 10 to the power 0 similarly 2395 we can write as 2000 plus 300 plus 90 plus 5 and 2000 can be written as 2 into 10 to the power 3 300 can be written as 3 into 10 to the power 2 10 uh, that is 10 square plus 9 into 10 to the power 1 plus 5 into 10 to the power 0 in binary number system base is 2 or in decimal number system base is 10 in binary number system the uh, units of information are expressed in the terms of bits the shortest shortest unit of memory is bits you must have heard the heard kb mb gb tb pb here the shortest unit of memory is bits collection group of four bits is known as nipple group of eight bits is known as byte 1024 bytes is kilobyte 1024 megabytes is gigabyte 1024 uh, terabyte is one petabyte 1024 exabyte is one zettabyte and so on you you can uh, take screenshot of this to remember for your further knowledge now we will study converting decimal number to binary numbers now keep pen or and paper in your hand or pencil or paper on in your hand to understand this carefully do along with me to understand this we will be converting decimal number to binary number see this we first start to convert decimal number 175 to binary number. We will see how 175 will be expressed in binary terms. In left hand side, I will divide this number every time by 2 and I will write remainder on right side. See this. I will write remainder portion here and quotient portion here. See this. If I divide 175 by 2, I will get 87 as my quotient and 1 as a remainder. 
similarly i have to divide this 87 by 2 uh, i'll get 43 as my quotient and 1 as a remainder similarly if i want to divide this 43 by 2 i'll get 21 as my quotient and 1 as my remainder if i try to divide this 21 by 2 i'll get 10 as my quotient and 1 as my remainder now if i divide 10 by 2 i'll get 5 quotient and 0 remainder now i'll divide this 5 by 2 i'll get 2 my uh, quotient 2 and remainder 1 now further i'll divide to uh, this 2 with uh, by 2 i'll get one quotient and remainder zero now if i want if i have to uh, divide this one by two i'll get zero as my quotient and one as my remainder so we have to divide till we get zero we have to divide till we get zero see this We have to read from bottom to top to understand this. The value of 175 will now be 10101111. Read from bottom to top. And this process should be continued till you reach zero quotient. We need zero quotient. We can divide any number. We can convert any decimal number to its binary equivalent by dividing by number 2 repeatedly and write the remainder right hand side, quotient left hand side and we need to read all the remainders from bottom to top. So value 175 will be 10101111. So decimal number 175 is now equal to 10101111 in binary form. The above statement, this statement can be expressed as 175 base 10. We are writing base 10 because it is a decimal number and we are writing base 2 because the number we have converted uh, that is 10104 one, times 1 is a binary number so base on a base of a number is written as a subscript here have you understood this i'll give you brief review to convert a decimal number system to binary number system what we have read today we have what is comp uh, what is computer system computer system is made up of main components one is hardware another is software hardware are keyboard mouse and cpu we cannot do anything only with the help of hardware we need software to run you uh, to run our hardware components to work to hardware com are for our hardware components to work now software pro we can write software program using special programming language that is computer language we have studied what are computer languages low level language high level language we have studied uh, low level languages bind a machine language and assembly language we have studied high level languages they are machine independent they are portable they have better understandability and uh, they have a debugging feature we can easily find and remove errors now we have done this decimal conversion from decimal to binary numbers we have to divide any number by two repeatedly till we get zero as a quotient zero as a quotient and after this we need to read from bottom to top to get its decimal equivalent i guess you have understood this now your homework is convert 38 it to its binary equivalent i'll give you answer in next class till then stay safe and stay at your home thank you